Hi, this is Mike from thesubstream.com, and this is an episode of Watch This Instead for the Week Ending, November 6th, 2009. And I'd like to talk today about a movie called The Fourth Kind, directed by first time director Olatunde Osun Sanmi. The fourth kind, of course, is one kind higher than the third kind, the close encounter of the third kind, which is when human just makes contact with an alien. The fourth kind, as we learn in this fake documentary, is when people are actually abducted by aliens. And the film stars Mila Jovovich as a psychologist doing a government study on the residents of Nome who are having trouble sleeping. And of course, what's actually happening, according to the film, is that they're being abducted by aliens. While they don't actually come out and say that they're making a documentary, that's certainly what they're purporting to do. The film has a whole bunch of never-before-seen archival footage of people levitating off of beds and UFOs flying through the sky and real-life hyp hypno-regressive therapy with people that have been the victims of abductions. And the other part of the film, the part starring Mila Jovovich, is actors recreating those documentary events. And they actually go so far at certain points in the film as to have the archival footage on the left side of the screen and the recreated footage on the right side of the screen. So you have a woman that's supposed to be the woman that Mila Jovovich is playing, that we're supposed to believe is true, that we're supposed to believe went up in an alien ship and had her daughter abducted. Then you have Mila Jovovich on this side playing this woman who supposedly exists. And they're both saying the same thing. And one is saying it is in supposed archival footage, and the other one is saying it in a movie that we're supposed to be watching. And this kind of pretending to be real thing does legitimately add something to films when people do it. Like when the filmmakers behind Blair Witch Project did it, it made that movie kind of spookier than it probably would have been otherwise if it had just been if they'd said, oh yeah, we made a movie except we didn't have a bunch of lights, so we just let some kids run around with a camera and that's our movie. But I have to say that as a lover of film and as a lover of documentaries, that The Fourth Kind crosses the line with such vicious velocity that it's almost as if the line isn't there. And the line I'm talking about is the line that keeps documentaries documentaries. I don't like it when directors fuck with that line because that line is important because documentary filmmakers have to be able to say to their audience, that this is true, and they have to be believed. There's a film called The Thin Blue Line, which was made in 1988 and directed by Errol Morris, who would go on to become one of the most celebrated, if not the most celebrated documentary filmmakers working. And he kind of shocked everybody in 1988 because he made a documentary that had footage of real people and a whole bunch of reenactments, fictional pieces that were made based on the testimony of the people involved in the actual case that the film was about, which was about a man, Randall Dale Adams, who had been convicted of killing a police officer. In a sense, Errol Morris did, in reality, what the filmmakers behind The Fourth Kind are pretending to do. Except what Errol Morris did with The Thin Blue Line is actually got an innocent man let out of prison. He had been wrongly convicted, and Errol Morris, by making this documentary, by using these reenactments, by using actors to play real people and act out what they say actually happened, managed to convince a judge and a prosecutor to let a guy go out of jail, a guy that never did anything wrong, a guy that didn't kill a cop. That's what a documentary can do. And that's why when people say this is a documentary and this is real, there has to be some kind of faith, some kind of bond with their audience that you shouldn't mess with, especially to make a really terrible, really boring alien abduction movie like The Fourth Kind. It's offensive. So watch The Thin Blue Line instead. Or, if you want to get your alien abduction kick, go watch The Arrival from 1996 with Charlie Sheen. Go watch The Forgotten, which was directed by Joseph Rubin and starred Julianne Moore. Or go watch Fire in the Sky from 1993, which is the classic dude gets sucked up into a UFO and gets poked by sharp stuff movies. Even if it, like The Arrival and like The Forgotten, is not a particularly good movie. None of these abducted by aliens movies is particularly good, except for Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. But that's way too obvious for me to recommend, so I won't recommend it. And how do the people of Nome, Alaska feel? The actual people that are from the actual city that is experiencing a rash of deaths in real life feel about these filmmakers showing up and saying, oh yeah, it's because of aliens that they're, that they're dead. That's the actual truth. Are they happy about that? 
Did they care? The real people? 